Good day. How are you doing? Are you ready for another optimization problem? I hope so. So we have Achilles, son of Peleus and king of the Myrmidons. He needs to make an, a, a square base open top box with a volume of 8,000 cubic feet in order to store rain, sorry, rainwater for the season. Of course, that's what Greek kings do. So what are the dimensions of the open top box that would use the least amount of material? It's least amount of material. So in this case, we want uh, the small, smallest possible surface area. We want to minimize the surface area. And in this case, so we have a uh, volume of 8,000 cubic feet and a square based box. So I'm going to call this value here x, or sorry, this measure here will be x, and so will this one, of course, because they're indeed the same. If that's to make a square, and this, the height, I will call y. Okay? So let's use the x and the y to write down an expression for the volume. Well, uh, length times width times height would be just x times x times y, so the volume would be x squared times y. Great. So we know that that's 8,000. So 8,000 equals x squared y. Fantastic. So what do we do with this? I'm just going to leave it for a while, actually. And now take a look at the surface area, which is what we actually want to minimize. So the surface area of the box will be, well, let's take the, the bottom of it to get started. That'll be just x squared. Okay. Then we have four sides that measure the same. Let's take this. Actually, let me just pick a different color here so that nobody's confused. Let's pick this side, for instance. That will measure just x times y. Right? So this side over here. Let me do a good coloring job. There we go. And uh, then let me just say now that the front and the back of the box will also measure x times y. So I can actually just say, okay, well, for x, y. Fantastic. So, but we want to, to minimize this. We want to optimize it. So I don't want to have a y, another, I just want one variable. And to get rid of this, I will actually use this function over here. So just divide both sides by x squared. Okay, so I'm isolating y. So y equals 8,000 over x squared. I'm going to take this and plug it in for y. And then we're effectively eliminating y, which is great. So the surface area is equal to x squared plus 4x times 8,000 over x squared. <laughs> Fantastic. So what do we get here? x squared plus... Now, look at what happens here. This x cancels out with one of the uh, one of the x's we have down below, because that's x squared. 4 times 8, 32,000, all over just 1x. Now this is an optimization problem, right? We want to minimize the surface area. How can we do that? I will take the derivative of it and set it equal to zero. Then we're gonna solve for x. So what is the derivative of x squared? It's just two x. The derivative, <laughs> sorry. The derivative of 32,000 over x is negative 32,000 over x squared. How come? Well, 32, Oops, I wrote 30. 32,000 um, over x is 32,000 times x to the negative 1. If we take the derivative of this, we bring down the negative 1, right? And we subtract 1 from the exponent, so we have x to negative 2. And that's the same thing as 32,000 over x squared. Don't forget that it's negative. Um, great, so now we set this equal to 0 and just solve for x piece of cake. That was a horrible looking arrow, so fix it. Now, 
to start solving for x, I shall just take the 2x to the other side of the equation. So subtract 2x from both sides. You cancel out. And uh, then I'll multiply both sides by negative 1, thereby making both of them positive. So I have 32,000 over x squared equals 2x. Then what I'll do is that I'll multiply both sides of the equation by x squared. So those cancel out, so I get 32,000 equals 2x cubed. I want to isolate x, so I'll divide both sides by 2. So I get 16,000 equals x cubed. Now what shall we do? Obviously we're going to just... Actually, I don't know what that was. Just clicked something funny here. Um, I will take the cubic root of both sides of the equation. And the cubic root of 16,000 is 10 cubic root of 16. And uh, I'll plug that into the calculator to evaluate properly. And we get approximately 25.198 feet. Great. I didn't necessarily need to add the units right now, but I guess that's okay. And um, fantastic. So, but now we, we, we want to know the dimensions, right? So it would be 25 by 25. What about the y? That's the other dimension that we need to form the box. How can we find that? Well, I can actually just take this function here. It's getting a bit messy, so I'm going to rewrite that function over here. y was equal to 8,000 over x squared. So I'll plug in the cubic root of 16,000, 16, which is just a 25.198, into x to solve for y. So 8,000 divided by the value squared. So y is equal to 12.599. That's it. So those are the dimensions of the open top box. You'll measure 25.198 feet by 25.198 feet by 12.599 feet. And that's the height, of course. And uh, that's it. Those dimensions will guarantee that we have actually the lowest or the, the smallest possible surface area. That's it. But now, let's say that your, your teacher is a little bit picky and he wants you to prove that indeed that we have a minimum value for the surface area right there. Because we know it's a critical value, right? Since the derivative is equal to, uh, to zero there because we said the function equal to zero. Here's what I'll do. Here's the SA prime, and here's X. We have the value of 25.198. I will plug in a value that is smaller than 25.198, maybe 24, into the SA prime function, which is right here. And then I'll plug in a value of x that is greater than 25.198 into right here. And what are we going to get? I just, I'm just actually interested in the signal that we get. And once I plug in 24 into SA prime, I should be getting a negative value. And if I plug in 26, I should be getting a positive value. And what does that mean? Well, that means that the surface area is going down for values smaller than 25.198 and then going up for values that are greater. Meaning that right there, you minimize the surface area. So that's it. Our final answer is right here. And hopefully that made great sense to everyone. If it hasn't, I hope you write me a handwritten letter and send it to my office, complaining. And uh, I will appreciate it. So good luck in calculus, and uh, 
yeah, visit our website if you uh, if you can. Goodbye.